respected viewers, brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to another episode of Live from Karbala with me, your host Ahmed Ali. Uh, before I introduce this episode, I would like to send condolences to Imam Sahib al Asr wa Zaman, uh, Prophet Muhammad and the Ahlul Bayt, as well as the Muslim community for the martyrdom of the peak of knowledge and the peak of eloquence. Ali ibn Abi Talib, may Allah be some blessings be upon him. Uh, for the dear viewers who didn't get the chance to view yesterday's episode, uh, we discussed uh, the characteristics and personality of Ali ibn Talib in terms of his wisdom, his eloquence, his bravery, and his spirituality. Uh, inshallah, tonight <coughs> we will discuss uh, the oppressions that Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib faced during his life and after. But first, let's welcome our very special guest, Sayyid Ja'far Qazwini. Assalamu alaikum, Sayyidina. How are you? Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. How are you doing? Alhamdulillah. Sayyidina, yesterday um, uh, we discussed uh, the most significant characteristics about Ali ibn Talib, his bravery, his wisdom. Uh, but uh, people tend to focus more on those than the oppression that Ali ibn Talib faced during his life and after his life. Uh, so if you can just have, tell us uh, a brief um, uh, summary of the oppressions that Ali ibn Talib faced during his life and after. Ahsan, dear brother. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala Muhammadin wa alihi al-tayyibin al-tahirin. Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yasir li amri wa ahlul uqdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli. الصلاة والسلام عليك يا سيدي ومولاي يا أبا عبد الله وعلى الأرواح التي حلت بفنائك يا ريتنا كنا معك سيدي فنفوز فوزا عظيما الصلاة والسلام عليك يا مولاي يا أمير المؤمنين الصلاة والسلام عليك يوم ولدت ويوم استشهدت ويوم تبعث حيا uh, My dear brother, respected viewers السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته uh, indeed, in order to 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 cover uh, the oppressions that were applied on Imam Al Muttaqin, Amir Al Mu'minin, Ali ibn Abi Talib, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, we will be in need of days and days to cover them all because his life, um, I believe, no one uh, was oppressed like Ali ibn Abi Talib after the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and his family. The Prophet says that no messenger of Allah was, uh, was hurt and bothered and oppressed like I was. And Ali ibn Abi Talib because of the fact that he was always uh, stick to the Prophet with him since he was a kid until he grew up uh, until the prophet passed passed uh, away and departed uh, while his head was was on on Amir al-Mu'mini's lap um, he didn't leave the prophet not in a single day not in a single instant um, we found we find Ali ibn Abi Talib with the prophet uh, every day we find him at the day when the prophet became a prophet mm -hmm. and he was the first to submit to Islam and uh, after that during the the, the prophets uh, battles against the the non-believers and the mushrikeen and the others Ali ibn Abi Talib would always be the first one uh, with the prophet the Prophet himself used to, to, to call up his name, Ya Ali Adrikni, Ya Ali Adrikni, Ya Ali help me, Ya Ali be with me, Ya Ali stick with me. Uh, in many occasions, uh, the Prophet was, was, was hurt badly in some of his uh, battles. His forehead, his jaw, they were broken in, uh, in, in, in Uhud, the Battle of Uhud. And um, Ali ibn Abi Talib was first to be there defending the Prophet, peace be upon him, while everyone else fleed for their lives. Uh, while everyone else left the Prophet, Ali would take the hits instead of, instead of the Prophet. Uh, Ali would be with him. Uh, and especially the, the, the stage where uh, when the Prophet, peace be upon him, 
departed and passed away. They started to oppress Ali ibn Abi Talib big time, as they say, uh, strongly, really bad. Starting from uh, from taking his rights of succession after the Prophet and um, attacking his home, Salawatullah wa salamu alayhi, burning his door, taking him out while he was handcuffed by the will of the Prophet, peace be upon him. And the Prophet had told him, uh, the Prophet had told him not to, uh, not to fight back in, uh, in case he didn't have enough companions. Sallallahu <laughs> alayhi wa He stood up and, and, and told uh, the companions that if you want me to take back my right and if you want me to be their leader, then you come to me tomorrow. Uh, with your hairs cut and with your swords in your hand uh, on that evening on that evening over 3,000 of the companions uh, 3,000 men shook hand with Ali ibn Abi Talib and that they're going to be there tomorrow but on the next day in the morning there was only um, uh, historians say 12 or 13 or 13 people that, that showed up some say less and some of them didn't have their hair cut. Yeah. So Ali ibn Abi Talib told them that why didn't you cut your hair off? They said that, yeah, we didn't get the chance, we didn't have the time, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. He said that if you don't listen to me and if you don't obey me for this thing. simple for this simple request, then I will not need, then I shall not need your help. So he found out that everyone has turned against him. Everyone has turned انقلبوا على عقابهم as the Quran states um, so he had to he had to face the reality uh, and the oppressions one after another the oppressions one after another uh, were applied on him salawatullah wassalamu alayhi until until the night that he was wounded until a day like today that he departed us that he passed away the orphans have become in a miserable state and the poor ones all as well uh, today they found out and they realized that the person who used to carry those heavy bags on his shoulder and back and bring them bread and, and dates was Ali ibn Abi Talib and they realized that because nobody showed up after he was warm so they found out that it was him his name was with the father of orphans Ahsant, Ahsant, Abu Al-Aytam, Abu Al-Aramil wa Al-Aytam the father of the widows and the orphans Salawatullah wa salamu alayka ya amir al-Mu'mineen what can I say about him Salawatullah wa salamu alayka Ali is a very unique gem that is like no other a character that was never um, meant to be like him and will never be like him we won't even see uh, until the day of judgment we won't see like him um, he was he was such a character that the that the that the strongest enemies enemies of him like Muawiyah, for example, after he departed, Ali ibn Abi Talib were, um, uh, passed away. He would he would cry, honestly, and he would miss Ali ibn Abi Talib. And he, even though he, he hates Ali ibn Abi Talib, even though he fights against Ali ibn Abi Talib, he fought all his life against Ali ibn Abi Talib. But a character that was respected by the enemies before the before the friends. Ahsant, uh, because of his humbleness, because of his honor, because of his dignity, because of, of all of this, uh, honestly, honestly, um, a character that cannot be uh, justice, that, that, um, that cannot be justed, that cannot be uh, covered uh, totally and completely. A couple of lines. Uh, that he would say uh, that no one in throughout history has dared had and has dared to, to say the same ask me before you lose me mm -hmm. 
no one dared to say that after him sallallahu alayhi or before, and, 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 uh, or before him sallallahu alayhi I know the roots and the paths uh, and the paths of, 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 of skies and, and heavens more than I'm familiar with with the roots and, and, and of, of this planet that we live in. Uh, such a character was missed after uh, he departed, after he passed away, after he was killed and murdered. Uh, the only, the one and only that was born in the house of Allah, inside, within the the, the house of Allah, the Kaaba al Musharrafa. Uh, his mom stayed there for for three days, and no one, no one else, no one else had that that honor uh, to be born in the house of Allah and to be murdered and killed in the house of Allah <laughs> He was the one and only. He, the same character, the, he was the one that was seen min, in many incidents, crying and weeping from the fear of Allah Azza wa Jal. During the darkest nights, he would sit and cry so, 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 so hard. Uh, like somebody that has been hurt so bad would cry from the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he would say oh my lord forgive me you are the lord and I'm the slave and who would forgive a slave but his lord that same character was the one that was the bravest in the battlefields uh, he was he was the one that, as I said, that the Prophet would would call out his name uh, during the battles many times. Ya Ali, Ya Ali, Ya Ya Ali, and this is actually the the reason why us Shia, while we uh, want to sit down, we say Ya Ali. Why we get up, we say Ya Ali. When my mother and your mother would um, uh, was giving us birth. She would, she would, uh, she would um, scream, Ya Ali, because, and this is, and this is not shirk, by the way, dear brother, because the Prophet himself would, would, would scream, Ya Ali, and screamed, Ya Ali, many times out loud. Salatullah wa alaik. The most uh, ferocious in the face of the enemies of Allah. The same, the same character that used to weep and cry was was the most ferocious and the, the bravest in the battle for you, sallallahu alayhi wa When speaking of oppression, I mean, Ali ibn Talib was oppressed, uh, we can say before the Prophet's death, but oppression began on him uh, at the time when Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was on his um, was on Indeed, his yeah, it was. When, when he said, bring me to a that. pen and paper so I can write down something that won't lead you astray. And, you know, a few refused and said that the man is, is, is hallucinating. It's, it's Hasbuna weird. Kitab Allah. Hasbuna Kitab Allah. I mean, he wanted to, to say that Ali ibn Abi Talib is the rightful successor after me. Um, at this time, I would actually um, uh, apologize to the real, uh, dear viewers uh, because there are mawakib passing by uh, for the martin of Ali ibn Abi Talib. Uh, there's also thousands of pilgrims heading to Najaf at the moment. Uh, you can check out the images at the moment. Uh, Indeed, to, and I to commemorate the martyrdom of Ali ibn Talib. And I wish we would, uh, we would be there I mean, tonight. I, yeah, I wish we would be there. Inshallah. Inshallah, may Allah count us from, Allahumma from, ameen. from the Allahumma people ameen. that visit ya you. Ya uh, But going back to the oppression of Ali ibn Talib, um, as I mentioned, it began from the, from the Prophet's deathbed, and then it went on to you know murdering his, uh, his wife after a few days of... The, the death of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. I mean, to th that's a different topic. But when to hear about this, um, the commander of faithful, the most, the, the bravest man on earth, um, he was, you know, guided with with uh, with ropes. You know, to hear that. I mean, Prophet Muhammad used to say, Ali, uh, and the Quran says, and fusana wa fusakum. The Prophet. Uh, made Ali ibn Talib his, his, exactly. his own self, exactly. and yet they, they, they as if as if they they guided the Prophet himself with yeah. ropes on that. And day. people were so shocked to see Ali ibn Talib in that situation, and people started doubting, you know, the, the, the abilities of Ali ibn Talib. 
So he picked up um, one of the men and whipped him with the ground. You know, it's, it's, it's unfortunate to see that. Uh, but I mean, uh, speaking of oppression, I mean, I, even, even now, Ali al Talib is so oppressed. I mean, how many of us Shia give justice when we talk about Ali ibn Talib? How none, many do, do none actually, actually practice none the actually. words of Ali ibn Talib? That, that's all considered oppression to Ali ibn Talib, especially Ali ibn Talib. Because he is our commander, yet we're, we're, we're not actually following in his footsteps. Ahsant. And honestly, dear brother, the oppressions are way so many. And uh, as, as you mentioned, dear brother, that the enemies before the, the friends, they know about the oppressions that were that, that are applied. But what we want to take today, lessons uh, um, uh, for, from his life, Salatullah Salam is this, is that, you know, when, 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 when people, when I oppress someone, when I, for example, oppress you, when I take your rights away from you, you will not you will not uh, feel comfortable and you wouldn't like to give me any advices for my life for my hereafter and none would would uh, would uh, would like to do so when he's oppressed I mean if I'm oppressed by someone I wouldn't like to, to speak to the guy uh, to the guy I wouldn't like to advise him I would Except Ali ibn Abi Talib and the Holy Family of the Prophet peace be upon him, but but in specific Amir al uh, most of his speeches uh, to 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 the people and to the nation were during those days that he was oppressed. Yeah. Like like he was not even oppressed. Like um, like um, um, it was as if as if they all. Uh, would hear him, would listen to him, would obey him, and it wasn't like that. So the, the voice is just overlapping. Indeed, indeed. So if you can just wait to for Salaam the first yeah. I mean, as as we hear the market pass by, um, it make you it makes you feel um, the sorrow that Ahl Bayt are feeling at the moment. Salaam And this is what we do, what we Shias do, by the way, and this is for history. What we do, uh, crying and weeping and, and hitting our chest and doing whatever we do on the day of Ashura, on the, on the day of the Muslim of Amir al-Mu'mineen and the others, we want to remind the, the world and especially the Islamic world what the Prophet asked his nation and the Muslims to not forget. And the Quran stated that, لا أسألكم عليه عجرا إلا المودة في القربة. What we do is basically remembering the family of the Prophet. We want to remember them on, the, on their birth an, um, 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 anniversaries. We, we are happy and we mention them. On the days that they were uh, killed in, uh, we are sad and we announce that and we cry out loud for the, for the whole world to see uh, what we're doing. And what we do is also uh, is not kufr and shirk as 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 they uh, refer to it anything, you know, as to, they refer to, to it because because who we worship is Ali ibn Abi Talib which is uh, giving him what he does not deserve is not um, is not what we do is not what we do uh, actually and to be honest uh, they uh, have ghulu and they give their characters uh, what they don't deserve uh, and we don't say we don't even say anything like for example last year the cha the NBC channel they had a they had a they had a sh uh, um, 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 a, a series about about Umar ibn al-Khattab 39 during Ramadan they spent over 100 million dollars on yeah. that series on that show and um, I didn't see the whole the whole uh, all of the episodes yeah. but I saw a lot of them I saw maybe half of them and not a single episode uh, would tell the truth yeah. not a single episode would would tell the truth about Omar and what he did and how he was and how he acted they just want to clean yeah. that character they, they of they want a Ahsan, the Ahsan, they want to pause the picture we don't do that we don't do that. We say what the Prophet said about yeah. Ali ibn Abi Talib. 
uh, when we don't say more than that we say that he is a servant of Allah yeah. we repeat his speeches about 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 worshiping Allah uh, and we believe that he was he was uh, and an honest and the, the perfect servant of Allah uh, a character that uh, that uh, the Prophet has more than 300 narrations about him uh, a character that the first thing he did after he was wounded by Ibn Munjam the first thing he did was giving water to to who killed him and yeah. to he, uh, who he wanted said, him he said feed him from my food Ahsan. and give him from my drink every time they would give who, him a drink every time they would bring him a drink he would ask Hassan and Mushtaba or, or his other sons did you feed did you did you give water did you give the milk that, that I'm drinking did you give the yogurt that I'm drinking to to Abu Munjam and let me I'll be honest with you this character whoever worships I want to worship the same yeah. I want to worship the same Allah that Ali ibn Abi Talib worshiped. If, if, if Ali ibn Abi Talib worships Allah, then it would, it would be an honor for me to, yeah. to worship the same Allah. Yeah. But when, when, when speaking about the justice of Ali ibn Abi Talib, uh, Ibn Muljim did not strike Ali ibn Abi Talib. He only struck him once um, during his, uh, his uh, sujood. Um, so when Ali ibn Abi Talib, he said, if I live, then I'll be the judge to, to, to judge uh, for, 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 for the blood. But uh, if I die, um, then one strike, strike, one strike for one. Ascent. And Muhammad Hassan, strike. peace be upon him, struck him one strike. You know, and the famous story says that he split him in half. Um, you know, just the, the, if you will, the greatness of Ali ibn Talib is, is portrayed and is illustrated in, in, in the narrations. I would like to, to uh, my dear brother, to bring up uh, a narration mm -hmm. uh, going back to our previous episodes about about not being attached to dunya, mm -hmm. to this to this world, to this life uh, so much. Amir Mu'minin has so many beautiful narrations about this subject. Uh, a beautiful one that that I uh, that I saw today. He says that uh, if you look through dunya if you look through this life then you have succeeded but if you look into this dunya into it and if you get attached to it and if you look up to it and if you make it your ultimate goal yeah. then it blinds you then um, then it will it will vanish you it will kill you uh, but of course this dunya this stage is is required for all of us as I uh, mentioned previous, uh, previously, that the same money that could drive us to, to, to hell, I will ayah the billah, the same money could be used to, to build us Definitely. mansions in, uh, in heaven. And this is and palaces. And this is what Amir Mu'mineen is saying. Uh, he says that the dunya is, is like the sun. If you use it and look, don't look up to it, then it will guide you. Then you succeed. Then you will see. Then you will benefit from it. But if you look up to it, and if you just keep on looking at it and get attached to looking at it and, and, and have it yeah, yeah, your ultimate goal, then it will blind you. Yeah. And he الله, عليه, says also that if someone becomes obsessed with this life, with dunya, it will infect him, it's, uh, it will infect his heart with three terrible diseases. If somebody becomes uh, obsessed with this, with this dunya and gets uh, attached to it a lot, it will infect his, his heart with three terrible diseases. One, distress that will never leave him. Mm -hmm. Because of the fact that all he's thinking about is money, yeah. is collecting money, he would always be stressed that, uh, that okay, um, I will need a million. And if I get the million, I'll be comfortable. Yeah. But when he gets the first mini, uh, million, he will be, uh, he will continue to be uh, distressed, yeah. asking for the second and the third and the fourth and the fifth million. Ali ibn Talib once uh, he said, "Man's greedy, and nothing will fill his eyes." And he picked up dust. Ah, and, and, and until you know, th this dust ah, only sand. fills. And this is the second disease that uh, so yeah. that mentioned: a greed and want that will never leave him uh, that will uh, that is endless 
that uh, getting attached to this dunya will have uh, will make uh, of me a greedy person Definitely. as you mentioned dear brother that uh, that will be endless that will stay with me until yeah. until death approaches me and until i die and the third terrible disease uh, enormous disease that 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 that, that will uh, affect uh, my heart if i get attached to dunya is desires is desires and hopes that has not going to fulfill uh, and accomplish I will keep on having hope that I will not die. I will keep on having yeah. hope that I will grow up, yeah. that I will become uh, a more important person financially, uh, uh, that my assets will grow up. So I will uh, keep on having that hope that, uh, and it will never be accomplished. It will never, never be fulfilled. And uh, until the day that I die of it. Yeah. But as I said, we don't give Amir al-Mu'mineen what he doesn't deserve. We don't say that he's Allah. So today, we don't say that he's Allah. But today and every day, we will recite the narrations that the Prophet uh, speaks yeah, about Amir al-Mu'mineen. And the enemies, I, uh, if I could say so, the enemies. Like for example, Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani. Uh, you could feel and you could read in his books that he dislikes. The hatred uh, towards, Ahsan, the the hatred to, uh, towards the, the Prophet's family, and and how he and how he um, makes a glorious out of out of out of their enemies. Yeah. But he couldn't he couldn't sit quiet, and when he is mentioning the, the narrations of the Prophet, and when he reaches the, the narrations regarding Ali ibn Abi Talib, he has to mention this this uh, this narrations. Aliyun Khayr al Bashar, Faman Aba Fakat Kafar. This is Ibn Hajar stating Aliyun Khayr al Bashar. Ali is, is the best among human beings. And who denies that is Kafir. Uh, I mean, this is, this, is, this is an enemy. This is an enemy that, that is saying that. And also, he says, he, he mentions, La ya juzu sirat, yawm al qiyama ahad, biduni sakkim min Ali. Biduni sakkim jawazim min Ali. No one would pass the Sirat on the Day of Judgment without a stamp and approval from Ali ibn Abi Talib sallallahu alayhi So Salamullah alayk ya amir al-mu'mineen yawma walit wa yawma istashhit wa yawma tub'athu hayya wa yawma tashfa' lana insha'Allah the Day of Judgment when you um, take our hands insha'Allah insha and pass by us pass us by the, the Sarat insha'Allah insha to, the, to the heavens insha'Allah when speaking about uh, dunya you mentioned it's very significant uh, some people tend to think that, um, that uh, if this world sometimes you know it's, uh, it's round it's, it's not equal one day it's for you one day it's against you. Ali ibn Talib has a very significant quote about life. He said, life consists of two days, one for you and one, and, against, and you. one against you. When, when it's for you, when that, when that day is for you, um, don't be reckless, don't be proud. Take advantage. Uh, take advantage of it. And when it's against you, be patient and don't be saddened because wow. both days are tests for you. Sent. I mean, it's, it's significant. Some people, uh, they think that w when one day they don't have any money or some days or even a whole year they began to think you know maybe I have to you know do something uh, not Islamic or not uh, in, in the way of Allah you know so, so I can live and in their head they think they think that's that's okay but Ali Nabi Talib said be patient and don't be saddened because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he tests his, his servants and Ali Talib even says, I mean, you mentioned, uh, I am your servant, so, you know, uh, no one could say that we from some hellfire. I think that, uh, that he's Allah. After his departure, Salatullah wa salamu alayhi, and after he was murdered, Muawiyah uh, felt free to start getting rid of the companions that he knew that they were with Ali ibn Abi Talib, Salatullah wa salamu alayhi. Uh, to the death. So one day, there's a companion of Amir al-Mu'mineen named Dharar ibn Dhumrah. Uh, Muawiyah forced him to, to, to come to him 
And so he was there uh, on a day. Muawiyah told him that, uh, describe Ali ibn Abi Talib for me. You loved Ali, didn't you? He said, of course I did. And indeed I did. He said that, do you still love him? He said, like no other. He said, then describe him for me. He knew that Muawiyah would become angry if somebody, uh, uh, if somebody speaks good about Ali ibn Abi Talib in front of him. So he told Muawiyah to excuse him. If you would, if you would allow me, I wouldn't want to speak about that. He said that, no, I insist. You have to speak about Ali ibn Abi Talib and describe him for me. He said, okay then. If you want me to describe Ali ibn Abi Talib, then uh, listen to this. By Allah, he was far-sighted. He would see very far. He was far-sighted and very strong. He spoke with a truthful finale so that through him truth became distinguished from fal falsehood. He ruled justly. Knowledge gushed forth of him as did wisdom. And these are the words of the Rar uh, describing Ali ibn Abi Talib after his death. He was comfortable with nights and its darkness. Uh, during his prayers, he means um, while while he was worshiping Allah, so he would be comfortable with night and its darkness. By Allah, he was as if uh, in his humbleness, of course, he was as if he was one of us. He would, if we would ask him, he would answer us. When we go to him, he would initiate us by salam alaikum, by saying salam alaikum. He would welcome whoever that walks to him. Ali ibn Abi would be the first to say the salam to him. Ahsant, Ahsant. And when we would invite him, he would come to our homes. Yet, in spite of his uh, closeness to us, we wouldn't speak freely to him because of his dignity and honor. Hayba. Uh, we couldn't feel very free to, to laugh and, and speak until we see him laugh. If we see him smile, we could be more comfortable and, and talk about different matters. But if he wasn't smiling, we couldn't say much in front of him by Allah and listen to this by Allah in certain occasions I saw him in his place of prayer when the night was dark and a few stars could be seen he would be holding his beard and crying in a very sad um, the way a very sad person cry, cries and I would hear him saying Ya dunya O world O world are you offering yourself to me? Do you desire me? Never, Wallah, never. Deceive someone other than me. I have divorced you for the third time. And this is not literally, of course. Uh, he's referring Allah, to the Islamic uh, um, law that's, uh, that states that after the third divorce, there is no, there's no, there's no ahsant. I have divorced you. I have divorced you for the third time so that you cannot return to me. Your life is short, he's speaking to the dunya. Your life is short. The, ex uh, um, the existence you offer is base and your danger is indeed great. Alas for the uh, security of uh, assistances, the great distance of the journey and the loneliness of the road. And after this words, uh, Darar found out that Muawiyah, the enemy of Ali ibn Abi Talib, was weeping and crying so hard that his beard got wet of his, of his tears. So um, he wiped his tears and Muawiyah said, May Allah have mercy on the father of Hassan. For he was by Allah just as described him to me. After he ordered to, to, to kill the man, uh, no, actually, on that no? specific day, because he cried and he uh, really? felt sad, yeah, he, he uh, sent him back home. He killed him later. Oh, uh, okay, that's weird. Another person uh, that was uh, killed for his love for Al Nabi Talib was uh, Ibn Hajr. I think it's Muhammad Ibn Hajr. Uh, he, he was. Hajr ibn Adi or Hajr ibn Adi, Adi, sorry, Hajr ibn Adi. Yeah, 
Um, he and his son, I believe, were killed. Yeah, Hajar ibn Adi uh, was, uh, was killed by Muawiyah. Yeah, for his strong uh, love for Ali ibn Talib. Ahsan, for his strong love for Ali ibn Abi Talib. He ordered him to, 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 to shut his mouth and not talk about Ali ibn Abi Talib uh, while uh, he was a prisoner uh, in the hands of Muawiyah. So uh, he would refuse and he would keep on uh, reciting narrations of mm -hmm. the Prophet about Ali ibn Abi Talib. So he cut his, his tongue, his tongue uh, yeah. off and he crossed him um, on, a, on a palm tree. You turned tree. him upon a palm tree. Excellent. And until today, until today, the Shias and the lovers and the companions of Ali ibn Abi Talib are being killed every day. Yeah. Uh, it was very recent, uh, the bombing that took place in Kuwait. And before that, yeah. in the, on the day, uh, Imam Hussein was uh, on his birth anniversary in, in Saudi, uh, in Bilad yeah. and in Hajaz and Qatif. Uh, and the two bombings that occurred over there in Iraq, day Even after in Pakistan, another, I mean, in Pakistan, in, in, in Lebanon, the shower, there, there, there was a and lot. everywhere. And they're only accused uh, for the love of Ali ibn Abi Talib and we should be proud of it we should be proud of it inshallah and may Allah uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala as we say every night hasten the, the reappearance of, uh, of yeah. Imam Sahib al-Zaman one, one of the greater you know uh, characters that, were, that died because of his love for Ali ibn Abi Talib was Imam Hussein peace be upon him when, when, when he asked when, when, when he asked them what reason are, are you Ahsan. fighting me? For what reason? And they said, "There's no other reason because we hate your father." Ali ibn Abi Talib. It's 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 Ahsan. unfortunate to, to hear that, but at the same time, I mean, uh, ala uh, your, your hearts are blind. Ahsan. Your, your, your souls are blind. blind. You can't Ahsan. see beyond your materialistic vision. Ahsan. And we should be proud, and uh, we are proud of being uh, lovers of Definitely Ali ibn Abi Talib. Ibn Talib, Talib. Allah it's, Allah it's, Allah. it's an honor. It is indeed. It is the biggest honor yeah. that we are the lovers of Ali ibn Abi Talib. And inshallah, he would, he would accept our love to him and um, 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 our love to him, especially on the Day of Judgment. And as I mentioned, the narration that no one no one would pass the Salat on the Day of Judgment oh, yeah, to, the, to, uh, to Heaven without a stamp and Allah signature Ali of Ali ibn Abi Talib and this is the narration of the Prophet. And Ali ibn Abi Talib himself was asked, even Prophets? And the Amir Mu'mineen replied, even Prophets. They will need a stamp from me to pass the Salat. So, so inshallah, we'll be the first to, to receive that stamp inshallah, inshallah, on the day of judgment. First, last, as inshallah, as long inshallah. as we, we, we get the stamp Indeed, and as signature, you say, as I mean, first or last, it wouldn't matter much uh, as inshallah. long as we get it, inshallah. Uh, Imam Ali Nabi Talib has a very significant quote. Uh, we're coming close to his, uh, to his martyrdom. Um, he has a very significant quote uh, which states, uh, by whom my soul p possesses in his hand, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I would rather die uh, from a hundred wounds and thousand wounds um, on the battlefield for the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than to die in disobedience on, on my, my bed. bed. It's, uh, Ali ibn Talib has very significant quotes, but it's, uh, inshallah we, we can ponder upon those quotes and uh, inshallah, you know, inshallah, come, come we'll closer, take uh, you know, come closer to, to Surat al-Mustaqim and, uh, and they are Surat al They are the Surat al-Mustaqim, you know, when they say Surat al-Mustaqim is, is in the hereafter, but it's not, it's, it's in this world. Whoever holds if, on to them. If we can't pass that Surat without their yeah, approval, then I mean, they are the Surat. Yeah. They are the Surat. What yeah, difference does it make? Definitely. So, so inshallah, do we have any time yeah, or are we coming to a conclusion? Yeah. Two minutes? Okay, so yeah, we're coming to a conclusion. Inshallah, inshallah we'll inshallah, continue inshallah. tomorrow. Uh, definitely, about, uh, inshallah. Definitely, uh, definitely. So, uh, so inshallah. thank you very much, Sayyidina, for, thank you, for coming brother. tonight. Thank you, dear brother. And uh, inshallah, we can learn uh, from, uh, you know, from the character and the personality Allah of Allah. Ali Nabi Talib, um, as well as the dear viewers. So thank you very much, respected viewers. Thank you very much, Sayyidina. Thank you, dear. Um, uh, you can also, if you didn't get the chance to view the full episode or the previous episodes, you can log on to our YouTube channel at uh, Imam Hussain 3 tv 
um, and stay tuned for the next episode. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.